You can try it. Bring your hoe. Show me. If you, if you can convince me that that's best, then we'll use it. Well, we have the grade rod set for 10 extra inches. Okay, here's, and it was, here's what, I, what I want. I want to just cut the roots off like this. Is that not efficient? That works good too. So I'm just knocking out all the roots here so that we can pour all our gravel in and that these won't get in the way. All right, that looks good, bud. Let's take this, all the organic material here, and we'll take it and throw it out. That hoe. We only want that heavily processed stuff. That hoe was pretty good for chopping those roots. Now uh, we need to be eight feet, right? At least, but we want like an extra one extra. or two feet. So do we have enough room here? Looks like we're looking good, and we're all below grade. Is that correct? Yep. I turned the laser off. Can you turn that on for me? Sure. I spent my summer by the sea to look for what I had lost. Oh, once I had a dream or two, but I saw them in a cloud. Often I would wonder why I tried so hard to stay alive when nothing ever seemed as fun. I'll rake it. I just want you to do the grade rod. Okay. So right here. That's a lot more than four inches. Hi. I'll go, no, you, I'll follow as, you. Same side as me, you lead. You do it just like I do it. On your right shoulder. No, I can't do it on my shoulder, it hurts too much. My shoulder's not quite strong enough yet. Don't have enough meat on your bones? Nah. But I have a thick skull, which helps. Well, you did a good job with the gravel there. Now, do we have to measure them up to make sure that they're... That's exactly what we need to do. So grab the tape measure. I can already tell that they're not quite straight. That's right behind you. Does it look good? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and drill your holes. I like sledgehammers, I will say that. I like pounding with them. Twisting. There you go. It's through. Okay, go ahead and pull it out. Oh, oh, well, always hold with two. That'll twist, that'll break the wrist. Yeah, you see how that spun around on you? Mm -hmm. Never ever pull the trigger with one hand, a big bit like that. Hold it securely. Get your leg next to it if you have to. Okay. Because it'll spin, it'll break your wrist.
All right, now come over here and give that a couple taps on the side. Because because of the... Yep, right there, now, now check your level. When you put your tools down, put your tool in a place where it won't be in your way. You don't have to move it twice. Clear the rocks off. That's what I'm trying to do. Thing is that you can wipe, swipe your thing across 20 times and not get that tiny little rock that messes everything up. That's right. What do you got? Perfect. Perfect? That's what we want to hear. Now, let's go get some boulders. So help me help me roll this big one up here. Ready? Watch your fingers. I know that you could do this alone, but 
and we'll turn it. I like how you don't deny that you could do it alone. Well, it's easier with help. So are we just building like a little wall here? Yeah, so this is, so this is called a it rip, kind of riprap, and what it does is, is the water shouldn't get up to this height, but if it does, it's just gonna erode this small gravel away. Mm -hmm. And this will keep it stuck under it. Yes, that's what we'll do. So we've got these, like big, weights. these big rocks in the perimeter here, and then we'll fill in with the smaller ones in there, and we'll kind of stack them up, but they'll have to stay below that. I'm afraid that that one might be higher than our, our sleeper. So grab the level and let's let's check across there and see. And if it, it is, we can pull it's it down. Way, it's higher than that. I know it I is. I think so too. Grab the level and we'll just double check. I'm 246% sure. It's only 4% off. All right, you tell me there. Hold that there. This I'll, is way higher. Okay, so move the level. Let me work it down a bit. And this one is obviously higher. Well, I can move that one. Okay, try it, try it now. Remind me of some. Nope. More? Not much more, though. Yep, still quite a bit. Still quite a bit. This is a big rock. Is it? Down here, it's perfect. So just okay, a tiny so bit. Okay, so grab more. me the sledge. Let's just knock, let's just bust the top of it off. Because I don't, I don't want it to be down this far. I remember when I was younger, I thought the coolest thing I would ever be able to see yeah. was um, a rock exploding from heat. Okay, so mind your, watch your eyes. I'm gonna hide behind the camera. Found a high spot. Did you? Mm -hmm. Take the hammer and give it a little tap tap. Little tap tap? See if that'll knock it down. Friendly little tap tap with a sledgehammer. Looks like I might be a little high here too. You wanna test it? No, I'll let you. Okay, there. So Jack and I have got the north side of the uh, sleeper done here. We've got uh, placing the big rocks in here. It's called the uh, rip wrapping for rip wrap. And it is uh, a way to protect against uh, erosion. So we can see that uh, we have the uh, dry creek bed right there. The water is, is plenty wide. It has plenty of room to flow through there. It shouldn't get up to the top of the sleepers, but if it does, uh, those rocks will help in uh, preventing the uh, foundation of the bridge there from getting undermined and works pretty good so that's one bucket load we got the biggest ones we could and then we'll do the same thing over here on the other side and then we'll head back over to the sawmill and we'll cut the uh, big timbers uh, several of the of you guys uh, who are engineers and uh, laymen lay engineers I guess better uh, than us at building bridges yeah well, more knowledgeable, at least of the math, uh, have determined that the, ten, the 10 by 10s should be sufficient. The span came out to exactly 12 feet. We can see across there. And so we're gonna go ahead and put uh, three 10 by 10s across there and uh, assume that that will do it, huh, Jack? Mm -hmm. You gonna be the first one across the new bridge? Possibly. I think we'll take the truck across first. It's a... Uh, a lot less, lot less valuable than the tractor is. So I apologize for the light. It's just a murderous three o'clock light here. Uh, this is a view from the uh, north side. Here you can see the, uh, the riprap in place there and then the full span there. And we have, uh, you might notice, so there is a little bit, we put, there is, you see a little bit of dirt right there in the creek bed. I just put that temporarily. I just made a quick uh, ramp so I could get the, uh, the backhoe down inside there. Once we get the rest of the remaining rocks placed, then we'll, um, we'll pull that back out uh, and grade that around. So this is gonna be a really nice little bridge. And of course, right here to the left, you can see right there by the, by the rake, 
will be a really good place for one of our woven dams. And that will back that up in there, slow that down, and also slow down the rush that comes through here um, so it doesn't undermine our bridge, hopefully. So we'll see. We'll see you this winter. But uh, so far, so good. Jack and I uh, worked hard today and feel like we got quite a bit accomplished and we're pretty pleased with it. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.